Let's start with the news out of Queensland and four Sydney men are feared dead after an Australian military aircraft crashed into the ocean off northern Queensland. The defence personnel were taking part in a major training exercise and flying the type of helicopter that's been plagued with safety concerns. The entire fleet is grounded as a massive air and sea surge continues. In pristine Whitsunday waters bobs the wreckage of a MRH-90 Taipan. The military aircraft crashed into waters off Hamilton Island with four on board. The aircrew, all from Sydney, are based at the Holsworthy Army Barracks. They were flying in formation with an American Black Hawk as part of a training exercise when they ditched into the sea. A search and rescue mission immediately launched. We speak to you now. The four air crew are yet to be found. The search and rescue continues. The families of the four air crew have been notified of this incident. Aerial searches for the crew continued throughout the day. On the water, the Navy and other vessels scoured the sea for the wreckage, retrieving debris and delivering it to a nearby barge, which pulled it from the water. Uh, this is indeed a terrible moment. Our focus at the moment is finding our people and supporting their families and the rest of our team. The four crew were taking part in Talisman Sabre, a bilateral training exercise with the United States. Defence exercises which are so necessary for the readiness of our defence force are serious. They carry risk. Their crash, not the first to claim lives at the biennial war games. In 2015, three US Marines died when an Osprey crashed into the water after taking off. The cause of last night's disaster still very unclear, but the MRH-90 Taipans have a chequered safety history. It is a trouble-plagued aircraft, so likely mechanical failure, one would think. In March this year, one crashed at night into water off Jarvis Bay. There were 10 on board, all survived. The entire fleet of 47 aircraft were temporarily grounded. The fleet has been regularly grounded. Um, there were problems with the tail rotor, there's troubles, problems with the fly-by-wire control system. In January, the government confirmed the Taipans would cease flying by December 2024. Instead, Blackhawks would be purchased from the US. The US Secretary of State is in Queensland for the Osman Security Conference. The Talisman Sabre training exercise paused as troops from both countries contact their families. And our thoughts and prayers are with the Australian Defence Force. I've told the, the Deputy Prime Minister that whatever he needs, uh, we stand ready to provide assistance.